Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you guys my October Stitch Fix unboxing. I'm so excited, I haven't opened my box. I like to be totally surprised with you guys. So I'm gonna open this box up in just one second, but before I do, I just wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you are new, welcome, and if you like videos like this, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps your girl out, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you stick around and hit that red subscribe button so you can become part of my YouTube family and get notified of all future videos that I put out. Let me explain Stitch Fix really quick since some of you might be new to it. And Stitch Fix is a clothing subscription styling service. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna send you a box and it's very customizable however many boxes that you want. You can do every two weeks, three weeks, every month, every other month. It's just so customizable and so awesome in that way. And what you're gonna do is they're gonna send you a box and there's gonna be a $20 styling fee that you pay to have someone style you. And whatever you keep in the box is going to be up to you. And you're gonna be paying however much those clothes they sent you or shoes or accessories. You're gonna be paying the prices for whatever they sent you plus the $20 styling fee. If you don't keep anything in your box, then you will be paying a $20 styling fee. If you like your whole box, they give you a 25% off your whole box discount. So that is what Stitch Fix is all about. I hope that helps you guys if you're new to the whole Stitch Fix game. But anyways, I will leave my Stitch Fix code down below. Anyways, they give me a $25 off your first Stitch Fix box and you can use that towards your um, styling fee and then the extra $5 towards your clothes. And I'm gonna put that code down below if you choose to use it, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And let's just get into this Stitch Fix unboxing. Okay guys, so let's open this up together. I The tape is kind of ripped open, so I'm just gonna rip the rest of the way. So as you can see, it is chocked full of goodies. I'm so excited. I got my little envelope here that has the style card that tells me everything that they gave me and then the price sheet and everything like that. So we'll look at that in just a moment. This is a big bundle. I'm gonna put this down. Okay, so here is the bundle. There it is. I am so looking forward to everything in this. This is definitely like fall clothes, I can tell, because it's really thick and I can see some sweaters. And then, I also got a shoe bag. So, totally going to look at these first. Okay, so let's see what is inside this shoe bag. Let's see here. Oh, those are interesting. Okay, so they are a cute little suede pair of flats, and these look like they are Tom's. Interesting. I did not know that Tom's makes like fancier looking flats. These are called the Julie Slingback by Tom's, and they're in the color Military Olive Suede. Um, these are cute for sure but I don't know if they're what I'm looking for. I asked for like a fall suede flat or like a booty, like a short boot. And these are like open back and I live in Virginia and it gets so cold here. So I just don't know if these are gonna actually be like what I need right now. So anyways, let me show them to you guys. So yeah, we will see. I will try them on and let you guys know and show these to you guys on my feet at the end of this video. Okay, so let's open this up. All right, here is the beautiful bundle and it's so soft, guys. If you could feel this, like everything in this bundle is so soft. Okay, the first item 
is this cute green sweater. And I'm just gonna show this to you guys. This is really cute and really soft. I really like the like the cross like detail on the back. And then in the front, it's nice and it's like a little v-neck, which I love. I love v-necks. And it's super soft, like I said. This top is by Love Ellie in the Mia Back Detail Pullover in the dark green color. So this is really cute and definitely my style, so I'm definitely gonna be excited to try this one on. Okay, the next one. Oh, okay, this is like a cardigan. Interesting. So this is like an open cardigan. It's probably really hard to see because it's all like striped and it's gonna be confusing on camera, but it is an open cardigan and then it has the sleeves with the suede detailing on the elbow. This is cute, but I just don't know if this is my, like my personal like style, but I'm really looking forward to trying it on because it might be something so cute on. And then this is by Market and Spruce. And this is the Gina Striped Elbow Patch Cardigan in black. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it on and it might surprise me on, I might really like this. And let me show you guys this. Okay, so I'm looking forward to trying this on and just seeing what it looks like on. And then the next one, this is like a cute little gray jacket. And it's so soft, guys. This feels like, it's kind of like suede feeling, but it's not. But this is really cute. And then I'm trying to see what's going on. Oh, it has like a built-in hood, like a hidden hood. Oh. Oh, there we go. And you bring it out. Let's see, this is really different. That is fun. Look at that. And then you bring it out and it's like, like a hidden hood like that. I'm really looking forward to trying this on. It's definitely nice. I like the gray color and it has a lot of detail to it. Um, you can cuff it up, which is really cute as well. And it has the pockets and it has a button. So I'm looking forward to trying this on. Let me show this to you guys as much as I can. Okay, so last but not least are some black um, pants. And I asked for black pants, so I'm looking forward to trying these on. These are the Gen 7 ankle skinny jean in black. Um, I'll have to see because I'm really into high-waisted pants and jeans right now. So if these aren't high-waisted, I don't know if they're going to be my thing. But they're really soft, so I'm looking forward to trying these on as well. And this is what they look like. Let's see, it says Stitch Fix exclusive. And then it says Gen 7 by For All 7 Mankind. So these are by that brand. I did not know that. Anyways, I'm looking forward to trying these on as well. Okay guys, so let's look at the style card and see what's going on and see the little note that my stylist gave me and see if it's the same stylist. First, we're gonna look at the style card. Okay, so you'll get a style card like this. And then up here, I have the style note from my stylist, and I'm gonna read this to you guys really fast and kind of see what her or his thoughts were. Okay, so I have the same stylist as last time, which was Lauren. So it says, Hey Sarah, I hope you find joy in these amazing fall pieces. For your requested flats, I found these olive suede slingbacks by Tom's. The slingback option will allow some extra stretch while still providing that gorgeous pointed toe flat. It says, I also was able to find the perfect pair of black skinny denim. This high rise pair by Gen 7 won't let you down. Let me know if the fit works well for you. For your fun casual jacket request, I found this on trend rain jacket by Mo Ka. Sleeves can roll up or tab down and can be the perfect layering pieces over your fall sweaters. 
Speaking of, I couldn't pass up this Love Always dark green sweater with black detailing. Last I chose the Elbow Patch Stripe Cardigan by Market and Spruce that will layer beautifully over your 41 Hawthorne top from Last Fix. Enjoy these fall fabulous favorites. XO Lauren. Okay, so that's cool. I am so excited to try everything on. So let me look at the price sheet really quick and then we'll get everything tried on and see how everything fits. Okay, so the Gina Striped Elbow Patch um, cardigan is $64 and that's okay for a cardigan. If I like loved it, that would make sense. It's very soft. And then the Mocha Lillian Lightweight Rain Jacket is 88. That's pretty like normal for a jacket, like a nice jacket. Um, so obviously if I love it, I'll definitely keep that. Okay, and then the Gen 7 Ankle Skinny Jean, it, those are $99. Those would have to be a bomb for me to keep those because they're not high-waisted. So we will see again. And then the Love Always Mia Back Detail Pullover in Dark Green was 44, which is great. I like that one. That's probably my favorite one, like not tried on, but we'll see. Everything can change once you try clothes on. And then the Tom's Julie Suede Sling Black Flat, it, those are $84.95. So those are pretty pricey. Um, but yeah, let's get into this try on. And really quick, the subtotal of everything in the box is $264.96. So this is a very pricey box. Um, so let's just try everything on and have some fun. So here we go. Okay guys, so I have on the striped, um, the Gina striped cardigan. And this is actually really cute on, and I actually like it way more than I thought I would, which I thought maybe would happen. Um, this is pretty cute. I just don't know if I like the stripes as much. Like, I don't know if it's cute enough to keep, in my opinion. Like, I don't love it. But it's cute. It definitely is flattering, and it fits like that in the back, and it has the cute little suede detail on the elbow. Um, it's, yeah, definitely cuter on than I thought it would be, but at the same time, I don't love it. I'm not like, this is so, so cute. And I just like to keep things I love. Otherwise, I'm not gonna end up wearing them as much as I would like. What do you guys think does fit nice? The fit is perfect, it's really soft. And then also, I have on these flats and they don't fit me guys, they're too small. Um, they are just too narrow. I have wider feet, like not super wide, but wider feet. They're just, just too snug, but they are cute if you're looking for a cute little sling back flat for fall. They're definitely like fall. If you live somewhere that's not too cold, like my weather is getting super cold, so I just don't think these would be ideal for me. But anyways, um, they're cute, they, they're nice, they're definitely nice quality and they're comfortable. Um, they're comfortable as in like the bed of the foot is really soft, but they're just too snug for me. So anyways, I'd probably need like an eight and a half in these. Yeah, so we will just go on to the next outfit. All right, guys, I have on the green sweater and it's really cute and it's really soft. It's just kind of like a basic sweater. So it's pretty cute. Um, I do like the back the best. That's my favorite part. I like detail and clothes. I just don't know. I feel like so far this box is kind of like lacking, like the love factor. I like to only keep stuff I love, and so far I don't think I love anything. Um, but I'm hoping that jacket is bomb, so I'm going to get that jacket on. Okay guys, so here is the gray jacket. Um, I just have it open right now because I wanted to see what it looks like open and not all fitted. It's pretty cute, it's really soft. I have my sweater on underneath it because I wanted to see how it would do with a like a semi-heavy sweater under it because 
I live in Virginia and I'm always layering stuff in the winter and fall, so it's kind of tight in my arm <laughs> with a sweater on. I think if I just had like my arm bare or like in a t-shirt, then it wouldn't be as tight. So I just don't know if this is gonna fit me correctly. So this is the coat zipped up. Um, I, yeah guys, I just don't know, it's so funny. Like, I really liked a lot, like a good amount of these pieces like in when I unboxed them, but now that they're on, I just don't love them. But yeah, this is cute though. I think it's just like, do I love it? Do I want it in my wardrobe? What do you guys think? I mean, it's kind of a basic little raincoat. Um, let me show you kind of the side view. It's like semi-fitted, it's not like super fitted. But anyways, um, it's super soft. I do like it for like a casual jacket, but I'm just wondering if I would get a lot of wear out of it here in Virginia because it gets so cold here. It gets like in the 20s, the 10s. I mean, it gets so cold in the winter. So I just don't know if it's going to be practical here. It would be practical right now in fall for a, at least a month more or two, maybe two, and then it might just be in my closet. <laughs> so anyways, it is cute though. It's just kind of basic. And I guess that's kind of the word for this whole box in my opinion so far unless the black jeans fit like super good. So let me get those on, I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so I have the black pants on and these fit pretty good. Um, they're not high-waisted though, which I really find like the most comfortable for me and I just don't know. <laughs> like these are comfortable jeans for back in the day before like high-waisted was a thing and um, yep, but anyways, they fit nice. They're not, they're just kind of basic though. So yeah, um, what do you guys think? Let me know what you like in this box or if you think it was just kind of basic and not that exciting. I feel like my last box was literally like a five out of five and this box is pretty much like just lacking. It's just not that awesome. But I'm trying, I'm not trying to be negative. I just don't feel like anything was like a love for me. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you like think anything looked really good and maybe I'm just being um, really picky or something. <laughs> so anyways, I just don't know because they're not high waisted. I don't know if I want to keep them. They're pretty pricey, like $99. Yeah, so now I just have to figure out guys if I want to keep anything in this box and keep that $20 or just pay that $20 styling fee and kind of take a L. That is everything tried on and I will talk to you in one second. Okay guys, so that is everything in my box. I am just kind of like thrown for a loop this time because the last box I got in September was so bomb. So I was really looking forward to this stitch fix and I feel like it kind of just fell flat what do you guys think? Leave your comments below. Tell me if you liked anything or if you kind of just thought the same. I would love to hear your thoughts. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please push that subscribe button for more awesome videos like this one. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.